are live on the internet. Did you ever oh, think this day would come? The big leagues. They're going right. to put my name in the paper. Right. When, when, when you were young, what did you think the internet would be? Like when, when, when you were like, <laughs> man, we can get that, that disc that has America online on that thing. What, what did you envision the internet to be? Uh, you know, it was where I emailed my aunt. Okay. I'm trying to remember the first things I did on the internet. I went over to a friend's house and his dad was some sort of a computer. I don't know if he did computers professionally or just as a hobby, but his basement had three computers in it. And we would just play on the computers. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. And uh, they showed me some Pokemon fan sites. So I think okay. at like age 10 or 11, that's what I thought the internet was. Pokemon <laughs> fan sites. It was pictures of Team Rocket, and I think that is still what it is. <laughs> that, that makes sense for, for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All I wanted. Oh, and we found a, uh, a, speech to, uh, a text to speech generator that okay. was a riot. That gotcha. was the biggest treat in the world for a bunch of fifth graders. The height of comedy. <laughs> making like a stiff robotic voice say, butts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I would still <laughs> laugh at that too. Mm -hmm. Just be like, <laughs> it said butts. <laughs> <laughs> Humans have those. Robots don't. <laughs> we got them. They want them. <laughs> 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 this is this is the source of the war. Exactly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 107 of the Whatnots Captain's Log. My name is Kyle Springer, and I am joined, as always, by Melissa Wilkinson. Melissa, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, I'm pink. Getting by? Yeah, yeah, getting by, getting pink. That's okay. I I am white in more than one sense of the word. Mm -hmm. Ah, I, I had to take your word for it. I can't see you. Yeah, I'm still working on getting the camera. Uh, I am almost there, uh, saving up on all of that stuff. I just got paid today, uh, so mm. that helped out a ton uh, to put some of that money to the side and be like, this is going in the camera fund. Good. But yeah, so good stuff. Good stuff. This, this week went by really fast. Yeah. Me. I I. I don't know why, because I felt like the two weeks before it went by so slow, and it just like it wouldn't end. I'm still not sleeping great. Uh. I I I'm I'm still not getting the best sleep. Like maybe five hours, six at the most. So it's mm. like it's enough to get by, and I'm not yeah. like super super exhausted. But it's mm. just like I'm still just like ugh. But for some. <laughs> Grayson, this week went by really, really fast, and today I feel really good. Oh, good. Yeah. It's a good feeling <laughs> to, to, like, feel awake and alert and just, Ugh. like, I am totally present, and I'm not just, like, <laughs> mindless zombie that doesn't want to do anything. Oh, man. I wish I knew how to do that. <laughs> I, like, I sleep well uh, that's something I've always been fortunate to have. I sleep pretty easy. I can get a full like eight hours of sleep, wake up at like a seven, you know, not too early, a decent time, sit down at my desk and I still like can't stop yawning. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a uh, kind of a coffee fiend over here. I'm scared about what I'll be like if I don't have coffee. I've tried it a little bit. So I know I theoretically could do it, but it seems like too much of a risk. Like, I, I started to theorize that my lack of sleep is because I now have too much energy, and I'm not, like, I'm, I'm not, I, I was never one for, like, actual exercise, but I still, <laughs> I, I had to, like, walk to the bus stop, I had to walk home from the bus stop, which was a good, like, 10-minute walk, it's, 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 it's actually, like, a good, good d d distance. Uh, and then I would often like carry all my groceries home since I don't ha 
have a car so i have like mm-hmm. my backpack full i have my arms full of stuff so i got like good exercise to like walk all the way to the grocery store and all the way back and then c- catch the bus mm-hmm. home and st- and stuff like that and i'm not doing that yeah and so i'm w- wondering if my body has just like built up this like extra e- energy of just of just like well like you need to get this out some somehow but i don't know <laughs> So stay Bodies up until weird. two a.m. because you can't two. carry around a bag two. of frozen pizzas. Two is child's play, Melissa. Uh, <laughs> what I, what I, is your what is your normal bedtime? Normally, I would say around like one thirty or two. Ooh, wow! Yeah, and then I would get up at like nine thirty ish. Huh. But I, I like that's the thing. I used to be fairly good at like once it was time for bed, I would fall asleep pretty much right away, or would would do something that would make me fall asleep. Mm. Um, but that's just not happening now. And it's like, well, it's four thirty five, and I'm still awake. So mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But. Uh, that means I have been cruising through uh, Lucifer. I finished oh. season three t- wow. today. Uh, so I have season four, which is only 10 e- 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 episodes. It's a short one. Season mm. two and three were like 24 and 26. Um, oh. Yeah. They were long ones. Um, and then season four is only 10. And then I guess part one of season five is coming at the end of this week. Uh, or and it, it, in about one week, I think next f- Friday is mm. when it happens. So good stuff. But yeah, I've been watching that. I've officially started a Gundam rewatch of like all the like main <sighs> timeline stuff of just like you know what I'm gonna do this again and watch and all uh, of these and watch all the new things that I haven't seen yet. So I guess you'll finish that in like 2023? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much Gundam is there? It feels like there's a lot oh, there's... of Gundam to me, but like I sincerely don't know. Uh, so I think 2019 was the 40th anniversary of Gundam. <gasps> uh, it started in 1979. Mobile Suit G- Gundam. That was the original thing. Yeah, and, and and they've been going since then. They've made all sorts of shows. Um, I, I've been talking to a couple people about it recently and it's kind of ironic because the shows are definitely of like usually very anti-war sentiments and stuff of just like war is bad weapons of Mm -hmm. mass destruction are bad look at all the trouble it causes look at the families that it tears apart and stuff and stuff like that uh and yet that they've also spawned like a giant toy empire where it's just like, mm-hmm. look at these cool robots. <laughs> um, and, and now they also have Gundam TV shows that are about the toy robots. Well, like they have g- 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 Gundam shows that are about them building the models and then like fighting the models. Oh, like um, battle bots. Yeah, or like Beyblades or or, or, or angelic layer like that. Yeah, yeah. So they they have all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there's a ton of Gundam shows. They're not all connected, but there is a good handful or two that are connected, uh, and they have like one main timeline, the Universal Century timeline. So that is all of the stuff that I am starting to watch yeah. or Ooh. re-watch because I've, I've seen most of it but good stuff so oh okay i googled TV myself here. a list mm-hmm. we have the included series in the universal century canon of gundam okay ms igloo yep mobile suit gundam yep. the eighth ms team yep uh zero 080 war in the pocket yep 083 Stardust Memory, Mm -hmm. Zeta Gundam, Gundam ZZ, which is the one where I guess the Gundams all had like really long beards and they Mm -hmm. spun their guitars around on their belt buckles. It's a Uh, good homage to ZZ Top. 
Yeah. Gundam Unicorn, which yep. sounds like the one for me. Gundam F91, uh-huh. Crossbone Gundam, uh-huh. which I guess is... I, I think that one's a manga, right? Does does that one say? Oh, it. Oh, the list isn't specifying anime and manga. It's just like a list of titles. Gotcha. Uh, okay. v- Victory Gundam, G Savior, and Turn A Gundam. Okay, so that's that's 13 of them. There are a couple movies scattered in there as well that that list did not mention. That might be an older list, which is why. Like, I've seen all of those except Crossbone, which I believe is a manga that hasn't come out in English yet. Yeah, um, that's the one where they're all on a pirate ship, right? I, For all I know, sure. Um, but... Yeah, there's a couple new things that are in there as well. But I've seen all of the, those ones. Um, and then I, I well, did, did that one list G Savior? Yes. Okay, that one I have not seen because that one is notoriously awful. Mm. It is live action and it is like the oh. only live action thing. In the Ooh. Gundam yeah, 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 universe. And yeah, they were like, this is just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so. Kyle, we need to do a special episode where we talk only about illustrations of the Gundam Wing Boys where they look like a boy band. Uh, no other parts about them. Gundam. <laughs> right. I only want to talk about those outfits and like the poses. That's all we're going to do for an hour. <laughs> Exactly. It'll be great. <laughs> if Gundam was a boy band. As far as I can tell, it is. <laughs> exactly. But, Speaking yeah. of Japanese entertainment, Kyle. Yes. So one of the journals I work on is a journal of dance arts. Okay. And somebody submitted a manuscript this week. I have week. done the dance a- arts once in my life. <laughs> You, you have. <laughs> Perhaps you've been covered in this journal. <laughs> Story of my life. And somebody submitted a paper this week about this Japanese theater company called the Takarazuka Review, okay. which I'd heard of before. It's an all-female theater troupe. And it's been there for decades, maybe longer than that. Like, it has this huge following in Japan all the female performers, they do a variety of shows. They play all the male roles themselves and mm-hmm. like makeup and everything is kind of a, a counterpoint to Kabuki, which had zero sure. female performers. Which is the exact I think this might... opposite where it's all men right, and they yeah, played all the female roles and stuff like yes. that too. So, yeah. So there's cool. this theater company that does you know, all lady shows. And I think I'd heard about them doing a production of Guys and Dolls. It was okay. supposed to be really good. It's a fun show to begin with, but to, the idea of it being performed by a Japanese, a bunch of Japanese women, some in a lot of like big manly suits, sounded very entertaining to me. I'm like, this stuff sounds great, and I forgot about that thing for a while until we got this paper about it this week, and it's talking about a new original show mm-hmm. that this theater company has put on that is a musical adaptation. Of Ocean's Eleven. Whoa. Right? Kyle, I, I had hidden it from you earlier, but I'm putting a link in our Google Doc now. Ah, uh, yeah. Because you, you, you have here in, in our, like, doc of notes and stuff like that. Yeah. I learned about the best musical this week, and I was just like, okay, this is going to be something that I don't know about that Melissa will talk about, and I I will <laughs> try and interview her, her on. This sounds amazing, though. I it, it, There's just a couple pictures here on the website, and it's all, it's all in Japanese. The only thing in English is the copyright statement saying, Ocean's Eleven and all related characters and elements are trademarks of Warner Brothers Entertainment. But there's a poster there. And, and this lady definitely looks like George Clooney. It's specifically the 2001 George yeah. Clooney Ocean's Eleven. They're, they're not caring about the Frank Sinatra version. That's amazing. Look at that next one. They have a bunch of like character photos and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. 
we're showing them on the YouTube version. So if you guys Good. are Look at these. online, yeah, you guys can check them out. This this looks like a hell of a lot of fun. Right? There's like big ensemble numbers in there. It's a big cast to begin with. It is 11 people plus Julia Roberts, Andy Garcia, and maybe some others. I saw this movie once. That's amazing. Yeah, it's all all in Shit. Japanese. I want to see this. It's apparently a big hit over there. I, and it I has hope... to be on YouTube or something. Right. I should have gone to like look up a video of it. Instead, all I got was like this uh, page that I found linked in this manuscript. Amazing. Yeah. I hope this gets successful and there's like an, uh, an American adaptation of it. <sighs> that would be good. This has brightened my entire week to know that this exists. Like, I, I, I want to know what the songs are like. Like, what, right. like, what is, what is the like style of the songs? Are the, the are they like jazzy? Are they big show tunes? Oh. Are like, what are they? I don't, I don't know. know. I'll look further into it, I guess. Yeah, interesting. I just, I just had some cursory facts for you to begin with. An Ocean's Eleven musical, man. Mm hmm. Uh, Marina is in themselves... the chat. Hello, Marina. How are you? Oh, hello, a new friend. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I, it's similar in style. That we, I think it was. No, I think I did that one by myself. I think I did Castle of Cagliostro. Yes, on my yes. own. Yes, um, I have seen it though. Okay, so there was a Lupin the Third animated movie uh uh-huh. that i saw the trailer for when it came when it came out but it was the cgi one yeah. i don't know if you've seen that did that yes. already come out i think i think I it did and I, 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 and I missed it i don't know uh apparently marina is jack she's duped what? us all ah! we've been hoodwinked <laughs> dual identities what's up jack Hi. Um. Yeah, because I I I, oh. <laughs> I was reminded of it recently, and I saw a gif of it, and I was just like, man, I was so excited for that, and I like just didn't hear anything about it, but I I don't know if it ever okay. came out. So the, so the movie is confusingly called Loop on the Third, the First. It will it, it, yeah, because there is. That like that's kind of what they named that first show as well. Oh, okay. I don't know. It it, it came out last year. I'm trying to find it out where have, yeah. I can where I can watch this. I would love to see it because the the art style looked incredible and the animation looked top notch. Because uh, I think that would be fun. I'll have to find a link at some point. But yeah, good stuff. That yeah. Thanks, thanks for reminding me of that too. That that just like solidifies it of like I need to go yeah. watch that now. <laughs> you know, among our the world's two greatest suit wearing sneaky men, Lupin the Third, Danny Ocean. Yeah, yeah. If if you could make an Avengers, but of thieves, who like who who would be on 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 your team? Okay, not a thief of physical objects, but a thief of secrets. I want Harriet the Spy. Okay, good. Um, uh, Team Rocket, as previously mentioned. <laughs> okay, yeah. All three of them. I don't know how many slots I get, but th- three individual ones are taken up by Team Rocket. Maybe round five or six. Okay, all right. Ish. Um, uh, I need a sensible adult. I mean, I was just going to assume that Harriet was in charge. <laughs> right, right. It's a 10-year-old Michelle Trachtenberg. She's the boss. Oh, I want the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, Good. Hmm. I'm going to have to think on this. Who do you I, have? So to, to add to that, yeah, I, I think I would put Lupin in uh-huh. there. Um, I think I would also put... Um, Gambit from the X Men, ah. from the Thieves Guild. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, yes. 
he he would be wonderful on that. What are some good like women that are thieves? Catwoman. Catwoman is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, she would be good on on there. I I feel like she'd be the loner, and she would be the one that Gambit was pining after the entire time. Yeah, uh, and then Harriet stuck Hold with, on, could, with team there's so Rocket many varieties of burglar. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you, there's so many varieties of Catwoman. Which one are you picturing? Ooh, I, uh, I don't know. Um, I, well, let's, well, no. Eh, 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 eh. Can we have a team that's only Catwomen? Sure. Yeah, the all. <laughs> Felicia no Hardy. Catwoman team. Black Cat. Put her yeah. on there. Oh, sure. There you go. Yeah. That works. I don't know. There's 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 a couple good versions of Catwoman. There's the like Michelle Fife one. Did the audio cut out or did you just call her only Michelle Fife? Oh, I mean Michelle Pfeiffer. I, I don't know. <laughs> You know I'm bad with names. It just happens. I'm just like, no, sure, Michelle just, Fife. That's her name. That's I thought you it. Were just being chummy. Like, no, I don't need that final syllable. We're Good old Michelle Fife. I don't need old the R. Fife. <laughs> Good old Fife. Her and Barney Pfeiffer. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What if it's like a a, a freaky. Friday situation where Michelle Fife and Barney F- Michelle Pfeiffer and Barney Fife switch places. God, I I need the <laughs> Oh my just Don Knotts in the Catwoman suit? Yeah. <laughs> gold, Jerry, gold. <laughs> That that would be hilarious. Oh, well, there, there's a storm coming, Mr. Flame. <laughs> <laughs> Separate Catwoman, but, you know, I can't remember anything the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman said. I haven't seen that one in a while. <laughs> she just... It's... <laughs> He's just licking Batman's face. <laughs> <sighs> Halfway through the movie, he gets turned into a cartoon fish. Yeah. <laughs> then, then Jack says, says, says Mar- Marty McFlyfer. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Great addition. Let's put everyone in the cat suit. Oh man, good stuff. Mm. Uh, so let's see. I so I I wanted to ask you last week yeah. about tornadoes. So you yes. are out in the Midwest. Are tornadoes a thing for you? Yes, they happen. I've never seen one. I've never been in direct danger of one. But I think a couple years ago, one touched down. You believe in them, right? Right. <laughs> you've ne- I mean, you've never <laughs> seen them. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand why <laughs> Wizard of Oz would lie to me. <laughs> I think, uh, God, I was in like high school or college. A tornado touched down like ten minutes from my house. Okay. Like between my house and like my high school, there were a couple houses that had some damage. So but maybe every never... once in a while, but it's not really a threat specifically where you are. It, ha- I'd say we get a tornado warning like once a summer at least. Okay, we're close enough to it. Yeah, An yeah. Annual yeah. event. Right. Yes, <laughs> much like uh, the Macy's parade. Yeah, I, 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 I was going to say some like annual car sale or something like, come on down <laughs> to Nissan's summer event. <laughs> um, oh, so there I, was I, a 
Go ahead. No, it's really mundane. I just remembered when I was a kid, there was a really bad hailstorm. And okay. so the car dealerships had like hailstorm sales for weeks after that. Like, uh. this car is real dinged up, but we'll give it to you for cheap. A real hole in one. Because <laughs> <laughs> any car you get, there'll be a hole in one. <laughs> God, it was hail like the size of your fist. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I, I wanted to ask you that because this past week, like the past two weeks, really, it's been really rainy where mm. we are. Uh, and apparently last week we were getting the tail end of a hurricane. Mm. Um, it, some kind of tropical storm. I don't remember what it was named or stuff like that. We didn't get it all that bad. Um, but I, yeah, we don't have tornadoes where we are but we do get hurricanes every mm. now and then usually it's not bad where i, 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 I am because they'll usually come in closer to florida and once they hit land they slow down and they'll they'll go up no 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 earth so by time they reach us they kind of disappear or they circle back out at like north or south carolina but it's like we get a rainstorm. That's about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I've I've been in like Virginia Beach when we've been in a hurricane, and it's pretty wild to like Ooh. to see how strong the winds can get. Yeah. Like that. But uh, yeah. So supposedly we caught the tail end of a hurricane past week. So that's why I was curious if you had uh. Been, a, been affected by a no. tornado. No. Uh, when I was a, like seven or eight years old, we had a really bad thunderstorm. And there was this house, several houses beyond, behind ours on the block mm -hmm. that had this huge tree. And I've been meaning to ask my parents about this because this seemed like the tallest thing in the world to me when I was seven or eight. Sure. And like how many tall things had I seen? I don't mm -hmm. think I was a, a, a real, I, I think I was over judging the thing. But after the storm hit, that tree fell down and this was like three or four yards back and it crashed into our yard. Oh, man. And it destroyed the shed we just built. That sucks. That sucks. And last yeah. week, public service announcement for the people. Use a surge protector on everything you own because we had a bad thunderstorm last weekend and it knocked out like half of my parents' possessions. Oh, no. That, that's no good. That big 60-inch TV, Ooh. the little TV they have no in the more dining room. Lucifer, no more DVR marathons. Right. Like, I asked my brother, like, is the DVR safe? Because it fried, too. Both of the DVRs fried. The Roku fried. The They're, um... They're electronic, um, they have these recliners that are, I guess, electrically powered. Like, it's the kind, like, in a movie theater where you press the button and it, like, yeah. eases you back and forward. Robot Those chairs. Those things shot, fried. We have butts, they want chairs. them. <laughs> They're good chairs, but apparently if a bad enough storm rolls through, it'll just decimate them. Yeah. Like, half of their stuff is, like, out, just out. Wow. I Like, I've heard of that happening. I've seen, like pictures and stuff online because i've bought in surge p p p protectors and stuff mm. and I, I i know but buying things online especially on online marketplaces and stuff where you have so many options sometimes you can kind of get hoodwinked into buying something that's not up to p par right mm. um and so you kind of have to do your research and check but yeah, like I've seen pictures of stuff. Be like, I bought this one and my thing exploded and my house is on fire. And I, like everything's fine, but like it's all gone. Um, and, <laughs> and it killed me and I'm a ghost and I'm writing this Amazon review yeah, from the afterlife. Exactly. And it, like they, they'll have a p picture and like their wall is like charred and stuff. Um, so thankfully I've not had that happen. I'm... Honestly, I'm a little worried that it's going to happen in this house eventually, the house we're in, because all of our outlets house. are the two-pronged outlets. They're not yeah. the three ones. Um, so, I mean, having a surge protector still helps because we have an adapter thing and all of that stuff, you know. 
because that's that's what surge protectors are also for. But yeah, never actually seen it happen. But well, I don't think their I possessions were literally fried. I don't think I would go to my parents' house and things would just be charred. But yeah, it knocked out a sixty-inch TV. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Well, at, oh, at, at least now, like to buy a new TV that that's that's that size, they can get like a nice. 4K TV. Yeah. 600 bucks, right? Yeah, I think this TV was from 2014. Okay. Man, they are going to be living in the future. It's going to be a smart TV. It's going to have a Roku built in. Mm. All sorts of stuff. It was a smart TV to begin with. But yeah, now it's going to be, oh, just visually better. I think it's like five inches bigger, too. So my dad has to outdo himself. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the thing. Like, they're, like, once you have, like, a certain size TV, you always need to go bigger the next one that, that, yeah, 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 that, that, yeah, yeah, you get. It's just like, how <laughs> awesome would this be if it was just, like, 10 inches bigger, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you, she said too. So, there's a Weird Al song called Frank's 2000 inch TV. I've never heard of that one. It's a good one. Maybe it's Frank's three. Th- oh, now I need to know exactly what this number is. It's going to bother me. 3000 inch TV. It's either 3000. Oh, oh, hold on. What album is this on? Is this on. Is it on Running With Scissors? No, it isn't. I'm going through my Weird Al playlist right now. Oh, they had a hair day. It's one with Jurassic Park on it. I don't... Well, I can't find it. It's either 3,000 or 2,000. That's it. That's the end. 2,000! Mm-hmm. It's 2,000! I found it! Frank's 2,000-inch TV! An underrated Weird Al deeper cut. You're so 2000 and late. I'm so 3008. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to that year and it's going to be Fergie. Yep. New Year's baby, just Fergie. What if Fergie yeah. will have been dead for hundreds of years, but she'll rise again? What if, yeah, like it's like an Umbrella Academy situation where just on January 1st, 3008, Everyone is Fergie. <laughs> Everyone is Fergie. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being Fergie. Um, Melissa. Yes. Speaking of googling things, oh, we're we're were you d- 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 done with your weird owl? Yeah, that that was it. I just no wanted thing. to mention okay. that that was a song. There you go. Just yeah, look it I up, people. I hadn't heard of that one. Do um, a deep dive into his catalog. There's a lot of gems beyond Amish Paradise. <laughs> it's a good one, though. <laughs> that is among the best, yeah. <laughs> um. So last week we mentioned, or well, you, you, you wrote down yeah. the question, what is the dumbest thing you've ever Googled? Uh, so I, 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 we wanted to t- talk about that, but we kicked it to this week because yes. we ran out of t- time uh, l- last week. So Melissa, I'm assuming you, you have a story that inspired you to write this down. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So last week, it's middle of the week, middle of the afternoon. I'm like working here at my desk, and I hear screaming from outside. <laughs> Okay. Like not words and like, not like, like outside one... of your building or like Yeah, your yeah, that's what it's or someone No, no, not outside, outside my room. It's not like it was uh maybe in another apartment or like okay. uh, on the sidewalk outside the building. I wasn't sure. And like it's not words and it's not like one single piercing horror movie scream. It wasn't a scream. It was screaming. It was ah, ah, ah. And I'm freaking out. So I like take a second, like finish what I'm doing. And I put like my shoes on and my mask on. And I go outside. And it turns out it was some DoorDash delivery woman. I don't even know who she was taking food to. I don't know if she they got walk the in food. on a dead body or something. 
No, she got stung by a bee. Oh. And she was having a, a panic attack out on the stairway about how she was scared she was going to go into shock. And one of my neighbors Jeez. was like trying to calm her down. And he's like, no, I, I see the, where it stung you. I know it hurts. Yes. If something was going to happen, it would have happened already. Like, you're not going to go into shock. Yeah, you're not You're not going to have an allergic reaction. It would have hit by now. It hurts, but you're going to be okay. And she's freaking out, and they called an ambulance. And whenever there's an ambulance, there's also a fire truck. So yeah. there's all this hubbub around for this bee. I don't know if those people ever got their DoorDash meal. I don't know who finished the assignment, and it was really distressing, and I felt bad that this all had happened while I'm just inside calmly minding my own business. Yeah. And I wanted to do something. And and the only thing that I could think to do, because, like, the other neighbor, like, had her. Like, he was, like, complete. Oh, he was really on top of it. I don't even know this guy, but he did a great job. Heroes medal to that guy sure. for calming this woman down. And like the EMTs and everybody were already there. So there wasn't like a practical thing I could do. So instead I sat down, I went back inside and I sat down and I Googled how to help bees understand that stinging hurts people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's like, here are tips to deal with a bee sting. Here's first aid for a bee sting. And I'm like, that's not what I wanted. No, I want to know how to talk to a how bee. How do I communicate with the bees? <laughs> how do I say, it, are you having a problem? Why did you act out like this? I want to understand what your perspective is so that next time we have a more healthy way of expressing our feelings. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't see, I, 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 I don't even think that's all that dumb though like i i can understand it's like okay melissa we get it you want to help you can't actually speak to the bee but, i've tried but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like i i don't know like i'm that's the thing like i I'm I'm not necessarily coming up with like dumb things where it's just like uh, well <laughs> duh Kyle like <laughs> like what how did you even make it past third grade mm. uh no I I I I I can think of like more like sexual stuff of of, of just like <laughs> hey what is this acronym what does that mean what is this no. That's valid. The stuff I Google is like, the other week, I legitimately Googled how to stop people from dying. Because I, I wanted what to do that. What is the secret to immortality? <laughs> and exactly. All it gave me were quotes from the Sith. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good job, Google. <laughs> Honey, yeah, I don't know. Uh trying to think like i i mostly use google for things like i don't know exactly what this company's website is like i always forget that barnesandnoble.com is just bn.com like stuff like that where i think the url isn't exactly just the name of the company.com sure. i use it to double check things like that and I use it for like weird requests today i forgot julian moore's name for like 2 hours and I almost gave up and Googled who is that red haired lady to see if it would tell me because I wasn't coming up with anything. <laughs> and eventually I did remember on my own. I didn't have to bother Google with that. But like those are my two levels. It's like re it's really abstract questions or eh, what's this website? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let me Who is the? Okay. Um. So, I had a game when when uh -huh. you brought this question up. It made me think of a game that another podcast that I've listened to. They they used to do it every now and then. Mm -hmm. Um. We don't have the amount of people to to do this game. It's uh -huh. you, you, you need you need like multiple people to uh make it work so i was like let me come up with like a modified version of this game yeah. 
Um, and so here's what I have for you. I have 10 uh, starter questions or like the beginning of a question. Um, and I'm going to have you guess. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, t I'll type it into Google okay. and I will pick out two of the mm. auto fail suggestions to to uh to to say which one is higher up in that list okay does that Alrighty. make sense okay so yeah. for for example yeah you were like i almost googled who is that red and for example there <laughs> is <laughs> it stops there it's josephmccartney.com who is that red haired feminist or who is that red who is that red guy? Which one is higher up in oh, the list? Oh, who is that red guy? Cuz that opens the door to so many questions. When you Wrong. google who oh. Yeah, but what happens when you google who is that red guy? Who is it? Who does Google think it is? Who is that red guy? Let's see. Deadpool? Charlie Adler. <laughs> so it it has it has Charlie Ad Adler for the for his uh his role in Cow and Chicken the like oh red my God! thing and yes! the red dude in Cow I understand! and Chicken. He was actually, the I, red guy. I think his name actually is just Red Guy. That's right. I forgot he had a name or a lack of name. That's so funny. Cow and wow. Chicken, man. What a throwback. What a theme song. Uh, so, yeah. So, do you uh, understand okay. the, the game here? You have yes. to pick which of the two is higher up in yes. the list. Okay. Uh, so, the first one that I wrote down is... When are girls? And... <laughs> Let's see. Let's go with Kyle. I think that's a complete thought on its own. When are when? girls? <laughs> when am I? Uh, let's see. When are Girl Scout cookies available? Mm -hmm. And when are g -g girls most fertile? Which when are Girl Scout there? cookies available? No. It is not. When are when when are g -g 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 girls most fertile? Is the number one thing, and then mm. it's when are g -g 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 when are girls done gr growing, and then the rest of them are all about g -g girl scout cookies. <laughs> so there you go. That's the first one. Uh, the next one is. Does poop. Does poop. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Does poop float? Or does poop have DNA? Does poop have DNA? Wrong again. Does poop float? <laughs> but you can <laughs> see whether or not something floats. You can't see DNA with your own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly but it's still the, th the thing that people google most <laughs> oh. maybe they just don't want to look they're sitting on, <laughs> on, they're the, to on the toilet <laughs> googling it <laughs> jack says does poop the sequel to das boot <laughs> <laughs> it does <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Number three. Why do babies... Ooh, okay. Why do babies cry so much? And why do babies stare? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's why do babies stare. Correct. Why do babies <laughs> stare? It has the number two spot. Uh, and why do babies <laughs> cry so much is one, two, three, four, five, six on the list. 
man. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since I've seen a baby. Uh, okay. Let's see. Here we go. Next one, number four. Does yelling. <laughs> Does yelling burn calories? Hmm. Does yelling at a puppy work? <laughs> I want to know if yelling burns calories, <laughs> but I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that's the thing most people are Googling. I would say that people are Googling does yelling at a puppy work to convince to their partners, hey, science says stop it. Uh, Close, but no. Oh. Number one is, does yelling burn calories? And number two is, does yelling at a puppy work? Well, does... This is a wild burn one. Does yelling burn calories? You have to tell me. I'll, I'll, I'll look that up in a sec, but this is actually okay. a wild one. All, 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 all of the things are so different. So mm -hmm. it's, does yelling burn calories? At a puppy work, does yelling cause stress? Affect babies? Cause a sore throat, help stress, help pain, spread coronavirus, at a dog, help. So I guess if you add the two together, maybe it's the most, who knows. But then the last one on there, does yelling increase testosterone? <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, does yelling burn calories? Mm -hmm. Uh. 10 surprising ways to burn calories throughout the day. Let's see if this answers. Yell, scream, holler, wail. Um, calories can you burn doing laundry? 55 per each load. Huh. Playing with the kids. Uh, swinging for half an hour. Uh, taking out the trash. Uh, grocery shopping. Pushing a stroller, carrying a small child, walking your dog, um, laughing, sleeping, cleaning your house. They don't have yelling. Why did this even come up in the search results then? Uh, oh, here we go. Reddit.com. Posted by user 7.5. Two years ago, how many calories would I burn if I screamed at the top of my lungs for an hour. Oh, don't do that. It's not worth it. You the entire discussion. Four comments. Uh, you burn 1.3 calories a minute just by crying. I'd say screaming is more intense. So I'll round up. I'll round it up to two calories a minute. My guess is 120 calories in hour. A, 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 a hour, but you'd probably lose your voice by the halfway mark. Someone else yeah. says, I think the important thing is we just need to to cry nonstop. Uh, and then someone else writes, as it turns out, that is affected by a few different factors, such as weight, intensity, if you tear, if, if you tear your vocal cords, uh, and if you're screaming standing or sitting. I found a red, 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 red. <laughs> The idea of somebody sitting and yelling is really funny. Uh, uh, does poop float? <laughs> Kyle, I want to talk about yelling at a dog briefly. Okay. So my, my first boyfriend grew up in Alaska. Okay. Bears, moose. Blockbusters. All kinds of... Mm -hmm. All kinds of wild <laughs> threats out in Alaska. And he had this dog. And when he was and when he was training the dog, he wanted to make sure that he had a command to where, like, if they went out hiking in the woods and he saw, like, a moose or a bear or some other natural threat in the distance, that he could, like, call her to him and, like, they could, like, go off together. Like, he, mm -hmm. like the dog wouldn't get distracted, wouldn't sure. go and try and protect him. He's like, yeah. I need the dog at my side. Like, how do I appropriately command her in these situations. And the trainer was telling him, you have to be really emphatic when you yell the command at the dog, like more than you would be. Or like sit like, You have to kind of do or... this. 
Yeah, yeah. And it's like you have to kind of do this mental trick with yourself to get yourself to the point where your voice is that intense that the dog has uh, no option but to listen to whatever it is you're saying. So he's like, the trick is that you have to yell (laughs) just a curse. Fuck! (laughs) Exactly! (laughs) So, Because it's not something you would normally do. And whenever you do curse, there's an emotion in your voice. Yeah. Right? So this helps amp up the call to get your dog to you. So he was telling me, like, yeah, I tried it once to make sure that it worked. We were walking out in the woods, and there wasn't a bear or a moose or anything, but I still yelled, son of a bitch, at the top of my lungs. That's (laughs) great. And it worked. So (laughs) it's the idea of (laughs) just wandering around in the woods yelling, (laughs) son son of a a bitch, bitch. son of a bitch, screaming son of a bitch. This tall, blanky man and this giant German <laughs> shepherd just cussing in the woods. <laughs> That's really funny because uh, my roommate's dog, uh, mm. Maddox, he he likes to hang out with me in my r- r- room. Oh. But I'll be in there playing video g- games, and if I cuss because I die in the video game or, or something, he like looks at me. <laughs> and then leaves. <laughs> He's just like, excuse you. <laughs> All right, I'm getting out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Your dog is my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, uh, time for me to go. <laughs> he just it's... walks off like, I see when I'm not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> is it the tone or is it the word? Like, if you try doing what it's I probably do, probably the saying... tone. Okay, so if you just say beans, yeah, like oh ding dang, <laughs> probably no, it'll just be like no change, right? What? What are you even jeepers? About? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I I thought that was really funny, and then I'm just like, oh Maddox, it's not at you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt oh, your feelings. Baby. It's okay. <laughs> Come home. <laughs> it's good though. It's funny. Um, okay, back to our game here. Yes. Uh, back from that one. What is next on our list? It does yelling. Next one. Why do my? Uh. (laughs) Why do my nipples hurt? Why do my feet swell? Hmm. I'm always going to have to bet the bank on nipples. Bank would be right. Why do my nipples hurt? Number Ops one. always wins. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. The last one on that list is also, why do my gums hurt? Hmm. Um, next, next, next. Here we go. Speaking of dogs. Um, can dogs learn? Can dogs learn to fly? Can dogs learn to use the toilet? Of Great. course, I want to know if dogs can learn to fly. We're reading a Superman comic this week for the review show. Yep. Crypto the Super Dog is in there, he and is, I think yeah. he's a hero all dogs can look up to and emulate. But I imagine most people are asking, can dogs learn to use the toilet? You'd be surprised to know that more people are (laughs) trying to see if their dogs can fly. (laughs) After they've seen crypto, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. to get me a crypto. Can dogs learn to fly? What comes up with that? The science of flying dogs. Can dogs learn to fly? (laughs) I guess that's more of like a... Wait. Can dogs become pilots rather than like actually like Snoopy? Like, yeah, like Snoopy. <sighs> like Snoopy. Like we got it. We have to be ready if the Red Baron comes back. <gasps> Only a dog be can prepared. take him down. That's the order of things. Good stuff. Next one. Why does cheese? Okay. Why does cheese sweat? Why does cheese make me gassy? 
Ah, <laughs> why does cheese sweat? I also wonder. Yes. Why does cheese sweat is the number two spot. Then there's ones like, uh, why does cheese cause constipation? Why does cheese smell like feet? Why does cheese constipate me? <laughs> <laughs> why does cheese make me gassy? Good stuff. Okay, so yeah, got that one. All right, let's see here. Um... When are boys... <laughs> when are boys done growing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when are boys potty trained? <laughs> when are boys potty trained? Uh, no. When are boys done growing is the first one. It, this one only had four uh, suggestions. Uh, and two, mm -hmm. two of them were, when are boys and berries in season? And when are boys <laughs> and berries ripe? <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about boys, but everyone was like, Girl Scout cookies? When are Girl Scout cookies available? <laughs> Girl Scout cookies, boys and berries, yeah. the two genders. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, what's the next one here? Uh, two more. Two mm. more. Is when when did taco and let's see here. Uh, when did Taco Bell discontinue the taco salad? When did Taco Tuesday become a thing? <laughs> When did Taco Tuesday become a thing? Is not the one that's higher up. Mm. Most of these are Taco Bell related. Uh, when did Taco Bell open? March 21st, 1962. Uh, when did Taco Bell change their menu? When did Taco Bell originate? When did they discontinue the taco salad? When did Taco Doritos come out? When did Taco Bell change their logo? When did Taco Bell start serving breakfast? When did Taco Bell mm. discont discontinue the Enchirito? Uh, Kyle, have you had the Taco Bell breakfast? No, I haven't. I it's didn't even pretty know that they good. did one. They do it. You can get a breakfast crunch wrap that is hash browns in it. Ooh. I recommend it. Interesting. Okay. Hash yeah. browns and what? Like sausage and, and egg um, and potatoes or Yeah, something? go for the... Yeah. Well, hash brown's already a potato. Yeah, yeah sure. You're right. <laughs> potatoes are good. <laughs> Michelle Fife. Potatoes are... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is egg um i'm gonna google a breakfast crunch wrap because i just want to look at it uh <laughs> comes with egg Have you seen that 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 meme of wolverine from the the animated series <laughs> along with me looking at the picture that's you with the i just want to look at the taco bell breakfast burrito <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, I get mine with, uh, I have done bacon. I've come back around to sausage recently. I got out of sausage, and now I'm back in sausage. Okay. Actually, I just bought some sausage recently. I bought myself a bunch of Eggo waffles and some little sausage Ooh. links and stuff like that. And I was what, like, What kind of Eggo just did you get? I got the buttermilk ones. Nice. I have Those gotten are the home real ones in it. Are the good ones. Classic. I've gotten really into Eggos lately. Like I've found, I don't know, when it's like 9 p.m. and you're slightly hungry. It's a, it's a good snack. Right? Like I tend to always go for like a pair of Eggos. Sometimes with like a peanut butter. Sometimes not. Because I tend to just get the flavored ones and that saves me the additional task of applying a condiment. And for some reason. I mean, you still kind of need syrup, but the flavored ones. I you don't need as much. I don't. I've never syruped mine. For me, syrup was ah, always for really? like a legitimate waffle. Like an ego is in a separate class from waffle. Wow. It's its own entity. Insulting egos. 
No, I, 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 I love Legos. I'm just saying I think about them differently. They're shallow is what it is. And I don't mean emotionally <laughs> shallow. I she mean, like, like de- 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 decrying the ego name. Echo I, I love you. Love you. <laughs> Come to my house. <laughs> Like, you know, like... A, he goes, you are little... worth it to me, okay? I will love you for who <laughs> you truly a, are. I, I, Ignore just her. Just a woman, a woman sta- standing in front of a frozen breakfast snack, asking it to love me. Why are you so shallow? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the, po- the pockets in the egg are shallow. A regular waffle is much deeper. And you can really like pack syrup in there. <laughs> the syrup would just like slide off yeah. the ego mostly. So I'd never put syrup on them. What if what if egos were more like Oreos and, and they, they made like a whole bunch of different varieties and was just like uh like deep dish egos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and they had there are now like the um, pockets. The- you could the thick and fluffy egos. Those are great. Uh-huh. Those have got they're more of the Belgian style with the okay, deep yeah. pockets. Those are rich eggos. I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> uh, n- I typically get a flavored one, and they're flavored enough that I don't need to put something on them. Okay. And for some reason, I can frequently find eggos on sale at my local grocery store. And they've got like a digital coupon for the Egos, but it's only for certain varieties of Egos, and it's always regular. Uh, the ones with Mickey Mouse on them, which are slightly smaller than a regular mm. Ego, so I don't buy them. Not as economical, even when they are on sale. Uh, the ones that are like four miniature Ego cinnamon minis? French toasts, those yeah, ones, yeah, those ones, and strawberry. Like blueberries never on sale. Strawberries always on sale. So I'm just in this loop of strawberry. I could, you know, I, I could, could shell out the bucks for blueberry, but I just keep going for strawberry. I could see them putting strawberry on that. My my, the the way I'm thinking is like you have to put the staple in there because they know that that one sells a lot. But then yeah. ones like strawberry and the mini ones probably don't sell as much. So they're just like, hey, mm-hmm. let's put those on the coupon too, so we can just move them, right? Mm-hmm. Who knows? But because, like, I, I, I don't like fruit in my waffles and stuff like that, but I do like chocolate uh-huh. ch- chips, and so oh, I, chocolate I, chips is good. I would be like a a, ch- a chocolate chip one if they had that there. Okay, last. Okay. Okay. Google All thing. Right. This one is a little bit more specific. And the question begins, why do cats stare? And the rest of it goes, why do cats stare at corners? Why do cats stare at nothing? Why do cats stare at nothing? That would be correct. Why do cats stare at nothing is higher up in the list than why do cats stare at corners? They have why do cats stare at themselves in the mirror? Why do cats Mm. stare at you in the eyes? (laughs) Why do cats stare at each other? Mm. Cats are weird, So love. Did I ever tell you about uh, the, like, cat story that I woke up one night and there was this cat, cat, cat. All right, so I'm I'm spending the night at this g- 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 guy's house. I think this was in like fourth grade, maybe maybe mm. fifth at the most. It was I, I think uh, I think it was right after that first X Men movie came out, and okay. the second one was about to come out. Oh, probably fifth grade then. Something like that, yeah. Uh, and this was like I think my first time hanging out with this kid. I had known mm-hmm. him, uh, and I was f- f- friends with him at school. But more so, like we had a mutual friend that we were both friends with, and I yeah liked our mutual friend more than him. But I at some point was just like, you know what? I should probably be friends with this guy t- too. Um, so I I went to his house and I spent the, the night, and yeah, we were like 
watching Monty Python and X Men and stuff like that. And uh, what a combo! Right, good stuff. I think that was the first time that I saw Monty Python too. Good stuff. What, what did you watch? Did you watch Holy Grail Holy or just some assorted Grail. sketches? Holy Grail, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But so I, I went to bed. Uh, and I, I was in my little sleeping b- b- bag there on the floor because we were all in, in I, th- I think it was a couple uh, 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 of us, but uh, we were all downstairs in his basement, and I was in my sleeping bag, and he, he had a cat, a cat, a black cat. For most of the night, the cat like didn't bother us, but he was downstairs with us, just kind of hanging out, stuff like that. And I, being a night... I, 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 owl was the last one to fall asleep a, a and so i was up just bored out of my mind like i don't even have my cd player with me i can't listen to the cd or you know all that stuff so i'm just i'm just like staring up at the ceiling and i look down and i see his cat and i look back up and eventually i start falling asleep i start getting heavy eyed my head starts to fall to one side and I see the cat still just sitting there. The cat's just kind of looking at, 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 at me, just doing my thing. Then I remember, like, falling asleep and then waking back up. And the cat is, like, two feet closer to me, but still just sitting there looking at, at me. And I fall asleep again, and I wake back up, and he's, like, two feet closer to, to me again. <laughs> And then I fall asleep and I wake back up and he's sitting on top of my chest, just like staring at my face. And I'm just like, ah, what the hell? Like, get off of me, you d- damn cat. God damn. Oh. Gonna eat me or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I am... That cat had a doubt for you. <laughs> it really did. It was just like, I'm waiting till you fall asleep, you son of a bitch. I'm going to get you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wild Kyle, stuff. I have an important animal story. Uh, yes, please t- tell me what this story is. So the year is... It might have been 2010. The year the is story, 2010. In a this world. story might be a... <laughs> this story might be a decade old now. Okay. Uh, it's summer, I think like... The week before I went back to college... So I'm just chilling out at my parents' house. I'm on my laptop. I'm on Facebook. And I see all these reports that a baboon is loose in my neighborhood. Okay. That evidently a baboon escaped from the zoo Good. or was being... And, the, and the, we do him. have a, a sizable local zoo. But by local, I mean 20 to 30 minutes away from my suburb. Sure. That makes There's, sense. There ain't no way that a baboon is escaping the zoo and getting as far as fluorescent before anybody alerts us or notifies. Unless he took the bus. Right. So I don't don't know what the story was. Yeah, the baboon escaped from zoo. Baboon was being transported and escaped from the truck. Sure. (laughs) Like in a crime movie. I don't know. But there's a baboon evidently loose in this like little pocket of houses like a couple minutes away from my house. And I'm like watching these updates on it all day. Like there's there's all these trucks out. There's animal control. There's you know, somebody called the zoo. Like everybody's out looking for this baboon. He could be anywhere. Lock your doors. Pull down your window shades. Baboon, dangerous. Hold and on then a it second. turns can, out. Can you actually repeat that? My headphones just spazzed out and like disconnected for a second. Oh, and all I. All I'm saying. <laughs> It's not a significant joke. It's just you lock your doors, pull down the window okay, shades. Okay. That baboon is dangerous. It's not content. And then it turned out, we're all waiting, looking for updates on this baboon, that it was a, a prank, which in hindsight, of course, it was. Sure. <laughs> there was no way a baboon was loose here in our quiet northern suburb quite some distance away from the zoo so it was and I was think this I was... just like some kid that thought it would be funny yes. to like give an anonymous tip to the like news station to be like we what saw I... a baboon in our neighborhood what i think it was is this was like right before i went back to college but i think like local middle school or high school had already started back up for the semester gotcha. 
It was like this time, 10 years ago today, Kyle. 10 years ago to this date, there was a wild (laughs) baboon loose. So I think kids had like just gone back to school. And I think there was a girl who like was, ah, like she didn't want to go to class. So she just said, there's a baboon loose. (laughs) Maybe they'll make us stay home if a baboon is loose. Did did she think it was bigger? Like I, I, I mean, I guess I don't know exactly <laughs> how big mean? a baboon is, but I can imagine like if she thought it was like as big as a gorilla or or something, maybe that would be more of a danger than a like a baboon. I don't know. Weird. See, yeah, I believe that was the motive. Just I don't want to go to school. What if I call in a, a baboon and we have a baboon day where we all stay home? And then I think her classmates found out that she did it and teased her and she had to move schools. I don't know. Baboon she- girl. <laughs> Look at the chat. Does Jack have anything to say about this? Actually, Jack actually, also knows actually, the story. Actually, right as you said that, Jack wrote in and said, true, the student was a grade below me. We had a few classes together. Jack yes. in the city had a few c- 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 classes with Baboon Girl. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Oh. We, we it mentioned... was a meme for like a week, and I still think about it like every August. She, uh, uh, so we, we mentioned hurricanes er- earlier. We had a hurricane day once in elementary school where it was like, we're going to get hit bad by this hurricane, so stay at home tomorrow don't come to school and then nothing happened and so my parents took me out to like best buy and macaroni grill and (laughs) stuff like that and it was that that was it barnes and noble so the same alaska boyfriend i asked him like so did you get snow days growing up and he said oh no no we knew how to deal with the snow it was only every once in a while when it got really really bad but I'll tell you what we did have pretty frequently was volcano days. Amazing. <laughs> There'd be too much too much ash in the air. You couldn't go to school. You had to stay inside. That's wild. I wonder Alaska's if Alaska's a different universe. It really is. I like it speaking of ash in, in the air, I've so I know California is often plagued by like forest fires mm. and Stuff like that. But I've been up in like Montana and Wyoming when there was like a f- some kind of forest fire. And mm. it it definitely does affect like the air quality and visibility and stuff like that. So I'm wondering Ooh. if California and stuff would have like fire days where it's like, hey, if the smoke is huh? so b- bad, we'd rather you just stay home and not go outside. Okay. On another one of the journals I work for. One of the co-editors lived in Northern California. And I'm like, hey, Jeff hasn't worked on this thing in a while. Jeff's got a couple assignments piling up. Let me email him and check in and see if he's doing okay. He's like, oh, hey, thanks for emailing me. I live in uh, wildfire country. And in times of high wind, the electric company will purposefully cut power. Yeah. So that in case the wind snaps any wires, it doesn't hit a tree and catch something on fire. So he's like, I haven't been able to work because I don't have internet. <laughs> That's funny. When I have internet again, I'll get back to manuscripts. That's funny. That's wild, though. <sighs> yeah. Interesting stuff. Uh, so you you also put another link in here to a YouTube video. I, di- yes. I didn't get to watch the video, oh, but I Kyle. kind of know what you're referring to. Right? Why didn't you tell me about this? It, it's not something that crossed my mind. <sighs> so so did you, you, you watched this whole video? Yes. Can, tell me what the story is again. Because okay. you, at this point, you probably know more about this than me. So like two years ago, I think they said this was in like 2018. Maybe this was last year. Okay. The last two or three years. There was a phenomenon in your own town of Richmond, Virginia, where people would wake up in the morning to find an old CRT television on their doorstep. Yeah, I kind of remember that. And as time went on and uh, video doorbell services, home security services became uh, more popular, people started catching the culprit on video 
and it is a man. He's wearing this like jumpsuit, uh-huh. and he has a TV set on his head. Like he's hollowed yeah. it out, and he's wearing it <laughs> as a helmet. I don't know how he sees. He's just all TV. It's probably like videos. a glass thing, like a smoky oh, glass, or, or like yeah. a one-way oh, type of thing. I never thought about if you were inside a TV, if you could look out. I mean, that's how they do it in the movies and stuff like that, right? Yeah, like the little people, they can look and see me. Yeah. yeah. Stare into the abyss and the abyss stares back, right? Ah. <laughs> None of them ever liked me enough to say hi. That's disappointing. Yeah, so like I I vaguely remember this. I yes. it was probably one of those things that I caught like a weird glimpse of not mm. because cuz cuz I, I don't really pay attention to like local news and yeah. stuff like that. Um I I feel like I saw it like on Twitter or on the internet somewhere. Uh, cause yeah, just like this weird guy with a TV for a head, leaving CRT TVs at other people's doorsteps and being caught on camera doing this is just like a perfectly st- strange internet cryptid of like, Hey, do, do you know about the TV man? And you're like, what? I, I know about Slender man. Like I, I don't know about <laughs> t- TV man. And in one of these videos, he walks up, he gets on a porch, he sets the TV down, he turns to, you know, step down like the two or three steps off the porch, but he stops and he turns around and he like wistfully looks at the TV he set down and then he tur- and then he keeps walking. <laughs> it's like, oh, goodbye, friend. Goodbye, my love. And so, so this video I linked, it, this video I linked, it's like a 10 or 15 minute video about like this phenomenon. Yeah. And how there was this news coverage about it, like, these people found a TV on their porch, and they didn't ask for it. And they're being, and like, they're kind of like, huh, a TV, weird, what are we going to do with this? But other people are like, it's a Trojan horse, we don't know what could be in this when we bring it inside, what if it's full of drugs or a bomb? (laughs) And you see, like, the police, like, they've got, like, a big truck, they're just loading TVs, just a pile of CRT (laughs) TVs into the back of this truck. Yeah, put them with the rest of them. (laughs) Scan it for drugs, I guess. And then one of these videos has, like, these teenage boys, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, like, putting TVs on a doorstep, that's really weird. I did a vlog where I went around, and I you know, I saw all the porches where people had put TVs. Isn't that wild? And the video was like, it, it was, in fact, not likely. wild. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, like, the point of the video at the end was like, it had to be that teen that teen was almost certainly doing this as a as a promotional stunt for his YouTube page. Maybe, yeah. Who knows? Oh, they, they drew some connections. That's funny, though. Internet cryptids, man. Mm-hmm. Wild stuff. I, th- I would be happy to have a TV head, man. Seems benevolent to me. There's a I hope th- character like that in the comic book saga. Yeah. Yeah. Got a robot head and a TV head. Pretty cool. And he's royalty. Prince TV go. head. Yeah, exactly. Um, Let's see. I guess the last thing I wanted to mention, some sad news that I'm kind of upset about, is that the mm-hmm. original creators of Avatar The Last Airbender, has, they, they have left the Netflix a- a- adaption of this they they announced the netflix adaption a few years ago and of course it was the like well, i don't know last live action adaption was not good and and then it was like but the original creators are att- attached and i was like oh all right cool that makes sense like if if they are the mm-hmm. ones doing it great like this is gonna be phenomenal and uh, from the, the start, they were always like, yeah, we want to make sure what happened with the movie does not happen again. Like, we want these to be, like, non-white actors. We want this to be, like, a st- like still, like, a family show. We want it to be inspiring. We want it to be funny. We want there to be action. Stuff like that. And 
they announced this past week that they are leaving the adaption because Netflix has not been holding up their end of the ba 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 bargain. They've been mm. pushing for a more mature version with more love scenes and sex scenes. What? Uh, and they wanted to cast more white people <laughs> in the show, which just that stuff coming out like in this time when it's like, hey. We we just went through this thing where it's like, hey, black voices are not getting the shine that they deserve. Like, what about all the other minorities as well? Like the like, and you're saying put more white people in this? Come on, guys, we just went through this. Um, but Netflix is still planning their adaption, just without the original creators now. So I am super bummed. Yeah, I'm sorry about all this. So yeah, that that's that sucks because it, it like the sh the the cartoon is so so good. It's am it's it's amazing. But like I I'm, on one hand though, I I think this gives them the opportunity, I guess, to move on and make something else, make something new. Yeah. Like I would love to, 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 to see something new from for, from them. Like it, it's about mm -hmm. time that, that that we got. That that, yeah. that that next show from them. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But stuff like that also <laughs> does not inspire much faith in like their Cowboy Bebop adaption and stuff like that. Because they're also make, making a live action Cowboy Bebop. Oh, oh I adaption. forgot they were the ones doing that. Mm -hmm, yeah. Huh. So we'll see. We also <laughs> know how their. Uh, death note adaption turned out that was not very good either is there something we can do to help <laughs> how to make netflix understand that? <laughs> kyle this is legitimately something i think about a lot because when a movie when a movie distresses people it really distresses people and i want to know what i can do about it like i felt legitimate guilt over people not liking Rise of Skywalker. And I'm like, I've been around, I've been alive, I walk around in this world, I care about people. I I, I should have found a way to step up and do my part. I, I think most of the time it's voting with your wallet, right? Su support the things that you want to see more of or are good examples of the things that you want to see more, more uh, 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 of. But I think on the opposite end of that, it's also knowing that corporations aren't your friend and oftentimes they're run by executives and they have to, that they're, they're, all of the decisions they make are more for their investors, like the board of investors and stuff and, and, st and stuff like that. It is at the end of the day, a business decision and it comes down to money, what will sell and stuff like that. So. so should I become an investor and send in all these notes that say, please never worry about me? Like, that's the thing. Like, you, you would think, like, our generation, like, the, the younger end of the millennials and then, like, Gen Z and all that stuff, we, we hate capitalism. <laughs> like, we, we don't want any of that stuff. We hate these giant corporations and how they do business and stuff like that. And we, we really don't like playing into their system and stuff. So I, I would imagine things would eventually change. I, I, I think that's why when like the pandemic started and TV was like starting to shut down, like the whole TV industry and the movie industry didn't really know what to do. Whereas, mm -hmm like all of these millennials and stuff that are streaming video games on YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that. And they have their YouTube channels. Like they, they knew what to do. Like they, they were like, Hey, we've been here for a long time doing this. And you guys have like shunned us being like, Oh, you guys don't know real TV. And then you see the stuff that they were trying to make. And it was like, did, did you shoot this on a cell phone from like, 2006 like what is wrong with it like the tv stations had no idea how, how to do this oh, stuff yeah and it was just like we could have told you this like 10 years ago but no <laughs> so I, I mean i i think 
at the end of the day, vote with your wallet. <laughs> support the things that you want to support. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I want everything to be worth supporting, though. How do I do that? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like <laughs> that might be a little <laughs> idealistic. I'm sorry to use you as my replacement for Google because this is normally where I t I have legitimately recently Googled how to make everything better right now, how to make everything better immediately. <laughs> Am I working hard enough to make things good? <laughs> you have such a good soul, Melissa. Wow, and it always gives me stuff like ways to make yourself feel better. Light a candle, put on a face mask, call take a, a bath. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no, whether or not I take a bath does not affect the emotional well-being of the general public. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, there's a lot you can do. Just educate people, be vocal on all, all, all of this stuff that they can, they can do to help, stuff like that. So, I don't know. But I think that should wrap us up for this week on the captain's log a little bit of housekeeping mm -hmm. for you if you guys did not know uh we have multiple podcasts here at the whatnots you guys can go find out more information on our website the whatnots.com uh or you guys can find us on your favorite podcasting platform of choice just type in the whatnots and all of our shows will pop up right there if you like what we do patreon.com slash the whatnots is where you can support us um and uh, for us little as a do do dollar a month and then at our three dollar tier uh, we have a bunch of exclusive contents we just put up our third and final of the reactor core uh series that we have been doing so go check that out um let's see i think that's about it for exclusive content i don't know what we're going to be up to next but uh we'll, we'll have to discuss all of that stuff a uh, big yeah. shout out to our patreon supporter at the five dollar tier so thank you sam for helping us out uh for keeping the mics on we appreciate it a lot uh yeah, thank you it, it really does mean a lot to us thank you to all of our patreon supporters as well but uh yeah i think that's a that wraps us up for housekeeping as well. So, Melissa, where can they find you on the internet? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at WilkyWit. That's W-I-L-K-Y-W-I-T. You can find me at Yo Kyle Springer uh, on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to stay up to date with our show, we are at The Whatnots on Twitter. Go like, share, subscribe. We're at 83 subscribers on YouTube no. right now. So we, we, got, we got one more in the bank there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Still hoping to get to 100. So if you guys could help spread the word, that would be amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, that does it for this week of The Captain's Log. This has been episode 107. We will be back next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.